What's good gamers, duels, and chads? It's EMB Trey here, and today I'm going to be going over the recently released Project Mugetsu. I ain't even gonna lie, the game ain't perfect. I, the game is not perfect, and it, it definitely didn't have the best release. I, I, I won't even lie to you, but I personally think there's a lot of ways you can enjoy it if you if, if you dig deep, you know, you know, grind your teeth, grit your teeth, and you'll really dive in there. I think you can find some ways to enjoy this game. I think it's a nice, solid game that could really be good depending on if it gets consistent updates and consistent attention and shit. So let's just go over. Let, let's let's just get ready to go over it. So if you give me the chance, I'll give you an explanation on just how to how to play it, how to really dive into it, what to look out for, tips and tricks, you know, all the above, you know, all that. This video is going to be showing the hollow progression first though. Not, not, I'm not going to be going into the soul reaper yet, but this video is just going to be showcasing the hollow progression and like just mainly how to do that. So soul reaper progression should be coming soon maybe eh, in the next couple of days hopefully but yeah for now i'm going to be going over the hollow progression so let's get it starting off the game you're going to hit play of course and then you're going to get the whole like you know little menu thing show up so it'll give you some options first you're going to want to put in some codes now uh the best way to get codes obviously you can check the twitter it says right there or you can join the discord link to the discord uh is in the main page of the game so you just scroll down and you can join the discord i recommend joining just so you can catch up with any changes that happen or anything of that nature so the main codes you're gonna want to use i'll put them on the screen here so you can see them so you don't have to like go around and look but the main code you're gonna want to use for now is the uh the spin codes obviously and the two times xp two times gold code two times mastery code so you're definitely gonna want to use those they're gonna be like ability rerolls and shikai rerolls and uh resurrection rerolls but you don't have to worry about that for now so once you get finished putting in the spin uh codes and the xp codes and whatnot then you'll be ready to start so you press uh you, you obviously press play and then you see customize you press customize and you'll go into the little menu where you can customize your character so you make your character look cute make it look like an anime protagonist or whatever then you're going to see on the right where it says clans so in my humble opinion Clans are the most important thing about like your character. Like if you have a trash clan, it's going to be absolutely terrible. You're gonna have a terrible time. Your build's not gonna be anywhere close to like people with a good clan. Like somebody could be half the level you are and they'll be so much better than you just because they have a good clan. So clans really make or break your build to be honest. So I would personally recommend spinning on all the accounts to get a good clan. You don't have to, but I would personally recommend that. So if you don't get a good clan to start off with, then I recommend going on an odd account and uh, just putting in the codes and spinning again. That's that's my opinion, at least. So uh, there's the clans that I recommend for a hollow progression. You know, obviously a, a lot of the, there's a lot of clans to look out for, but the main clans I recommend spinning for is um, Sh Shahion, Sh Sh Shahion, whatever the hell you pronounce it. Uryu, Uri, I'm sorry, I'm a dumbass, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff, but Shihion, Uryu, and either of the War Powers. Those are the main, uh, those are the main clans I would look out for. Obviously, like, Yamamoto and some of the other legendaries are good, but for a hollow progression, I think those are the best clans you should look out for, so, uh, if I were you, I would, like, make all, make all the counts until I get one of those, uh, clans, but... Once again, you don't have to, as long as you get like a decent clan, like a legendary clan, or you can, you can get Yamamoto too, that's a good one. As long as you get something that gives you good buffs, then you're fine. But those are the clans I look I would look out for if I were you. I would spin for Shihan, uh, a war power, or Uryu, Uryu, I don't know, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this shit. So, now that you have uh, gotten the clan you wanted, now that you used all your spins and you got the clan you wanted, hopefully, now you can uh, just press teleport and you'll obviously get teleported into the main game. So it'll give you the whole shtick about like, oh, welcome to the game and all that. Then it'll, it'll tell you, you can either talk to Kisuke to become a soul reaper or you talk to Aizen to become a hollow. Now, since you're going to hollow progression, if you're watching this video, then you'll uh, go to Aizen and he'll tell you, you need to kill one soul reaper. 
So the Soul Reapers will be outlined in the green, so you just need to kill one of them in the green. You can fight a rogue Shinigami. They're pretty, they're not too hard to fight once you figure out the controls. You just M1 on a bunch. Make sure you don't like get put in a combo and you'll be fine. So yeah, you just fight one of them, kill them, and then you'll be ready to go back to Aizen. You'll get a couple of levels and some money, then you'll go back to Aizen and uh, yeah, you'll be ready to become a Hollow. So, uh, it'll teleport you back to the uh, heck, Hueco, heck, Hueco Mundo, however the hell you pronounce it. It'll teleport you back there, and now it's start. It's now it's time to start the nasty grind. Now it's time to start the anguish, the pain, the hatred. Now it's time to start. So, get ready and hold on to your ninnies. So, starting off, there are, there are going to be a couple of things we need to go over. So, first things first, you need to figure out what exactly you're going for. I, I recommend figuring out before you even start figuring out what exactly this, the build you're making you want it to be. So, the options you have is a Miniscar, a Vastalord, a Vastacar, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Quick PSA: I forgot to add a, a do car, a, a Ju car, a Ju car to the to the joint. So, uh, it's not Vastacar, it's Vastacar, Vastalord. Miniscar and a Duke, a Duke, a Jew car, whatever the hell it's called. So yeah, my fault for forgetting that. Uh, really, you're not really missing much. It's really just a better Miniscar. That's that's all. There's really like, it's just a little bit better Miniscar. So you're not really missing much with it. So yeah, but, uh, back to the video. Miniscar, Vastalord, Vastacar. Now, Miniscar is the easiest one to unlock. It's the fastest one, it's the easiest one. Plus, it gives you in-game content. Like, if you go Miniscar, not only do you are, you're able to become a Miniscar fast, like, it's probably one of the fastest evolutions, not, yeah, one of the fastest evolutions in the game. But, you can also get in-game content and be able to use a whole bunch of different skills. You can use, like, the Skywalk or the Airwalk and shit. So, there's a lot of in-game content with the Miniscar. But, of course, it's also the weak one so it's probably one of the weakest uh, evolutions so Miniscar is for like if you just want to get it over fast you don't feel like waiting OD long and don't feel like having to do X Y and Z just to uh, get to the cool shit if you want to get to the cool stuff off rip then I recommend going Miniscar and just get it out the way yeah so Miniscar is definitely like the fastest one now, next is the Vastalor. Now, Vastalor takes a while. I'll admit, Vastalor takes a while. It definitely takes a, a solid amount of hours to complete. But Vastalor is arguably the best evolution because it has a high amount of damage and it has its own unique skills and shit. That's some pretty cool unique skills. So, yeah, Vastalor is uh, it, it's it, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So if you want to go for that, you're free to. Now the next one is Vastacar. Vastacar is pretty much just a better, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a better uh, Miniscar. Now Vastacar is the longest progression, or uh, it takes the longest to get to because you have to become, uh, uh, you have to become a Vasta Lord before you even can become a Vastacar. So it definitely has a lot of grinding. Definitely has a lot of grinding with it, but it. It could be argued to be the best transformation. Personally, I think Vastalord is the best just because Vastalord does more damage with its Sarah. But Vastacar does look a little bit cooler to me. You do get your humanoid form back and you do get like your customizable character. So yeah, it's 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 really up to you. So you get to decide if you wanna go like for a fast run, just go Miniscar. If you wanna go like for like a really, really strong build, go Vastalord or Vastacar. So yeah. Uh, figure out what you want to do beforehand so you don't accidentally mess up or something. So now that you figured out, I want to be, uh, let's say you want to be a Vastacar. Okay, get ready for some, get ready for some grinding. So starting off, uh, you're gonna spawn in, you know, with your ugly mask and all that on. And, um, I, the name of the game is Eating. If you want to progress in this game, there's, there's, there's two, there's two progressing ways in this game. First, obviously, like your normal level, grinding, 
grinding bosses, grinding NPCs, grinding whatever, and getting experience, doing quests and all that. Then there's your hollow progression. Now your hollow progression decides like how close you are to hitting the next level. So you start off as a hollow, it decides how close you are to becoming a minnows, and so on and so forth. So uh, to check your hollow progression, unfortunately, you either have to A, get 4,500 in-game uh, in game cash, so you get that by like killing NPCs, whatever, or you have to spend 450 Robux to, uh, to be able to view it permanently. So there is no actual way to view your progression for free like there's no actual way to view your progression for free you either have to spend in-game money or like spend 450 robux to view it permanently so i find that kind of unfortunate like why the fuck do i have to pay just to see my xp bar but you know what Wh whatever that's that's just my humble opinion so screw me i guess so uh now that you now that you kind of understand how it works now let's get into like how to how to get into your hollow progression so that's the like the most important thing probably when it comes to being a hollow so uh, the mobs you kill give points per se you know mobs you kill give points so regular hollows the small ones they only give one point now a, a duchas, uh, uh, the big hollows, I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but the, the duchas, they give three points. And they're probably your main thing you're going to be farming. Vastor Lords, they give 2.75 points. And Iron Cars, they give four points. Now, a duchas are going to be the main thing you want to farm. Vastor Lords, too, if you want to get experience as well. But a duchas are better just because, like, there's a really good place to farm a duchas. A really, really, really good place. And excuse me if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, I'm not a smart guy. I'm just freestyling here. So, excuse me if I'm saying it wrong. But there's a really good place you can farm a duchas. There's even a quest you can get once you're, like, level 30, I think. So, there's a really good place for you to farm a duchas and they spawn consistently. And they're probably going to be the best thing you can grind when it comes to uh getting hollow progression so real quick i'm just going to direct y'all to the best place to go so uh make sure if you're wondering just follow your screen follow my path here so let's go yo what's good y'all so i'm gonna direct y'all to where to go here so real quick it doesn't really matter where you start off with you're just gonna want to head to the middle of the map you'll know you're in the middle once you see this like big kind of bone looking thing bone you know this yeah whatever this is and you see the vast lords over here don't want to mess with them but you'll know you're in the middle once you see like this opening right here so you're gonna want to like come to where the vast lords are like right here so this is like a great way to remember and then just run forward just run forward all you want to do is just run forward. You'll see Stark right here. That's a good way to remember to run forward. You see Stark right here. Then I'm gonna make a little bit of a left here, and this is the this is the spot. This is the spot you want to be at. So you can uh, get up there by climbing here. You can get up there by climbing here. You can take the long way and climb around. But this is the spot you spot you want to be at. This is the main spot. And as you can see right here, we got an Aducha. This is the uh, this is the best way to grind. This is how I got to a Vasta car and a Miniscar on both my builds. So this is definitely the best place to uh, grind here. And Miniscars are or not Miniscars. Aduchas are the best way to grind here for sure. Now you do have skills. So once you have the money to get them, then you can press M. Then you'll get the whole menu dropped out, and then you'll go to skills. You'll go to Hollow. And then you'll have Roar, Acid Spit, and Tramp. So you can't get Roar yet because you need 50 experience. So you're going to have to eat some more then you'll be able to get it. But you can get Acid Spit and Tramp once you get the uh, correct amount of money to do so. So uh, you're going to want to make sure to get those. Tramp is Tramp and Roar are going to be your best ones because they both... Uh, well, Roar is a good combo starter and Tramp does a good amount of damage. Acid Spit is fine, I guess, but you're definitely going to want those. It makes killing stuff a lot easier. So once you've... Uh, now, once, once you like mainly figured out what you're supposed to do, once you've kind of figured out what you're supposed to do, then I would recommend going to a public server, trying to find somebody to grind with, like try to find somebody else to grind with with the uh, Agicars or however the hell you pronounce it. Try to find somebody else to grind with you. I recommend doing that. That's what I did and I got uh, leveled up pretty fast. 
So, uh, yeah, now you figured it out. Now you're going to have to really get into the grinding. There's really nothing else I can get into. Like, there's really no other way to make it faster, except, like, maybe if you got the Kurosaki War Power. If you got the Kurosaki War Power Clan, I'm pretty sure it gives two times progression for hollows. So, yeah, that would, that'd be, that's pretty lit, but I'm pretty sure that's the only way to, like, make it faster. So now you're just going to have to grit your teeth, sit back in your gamer chair, and grind. So, yeah, have fun with that. So, let's just fast forward a bit to when you get to uh, finally evolve to a Minos. So yeah, let's fast forward a bit. So after a lot of eating, a lot of grinding, a lot of M1s, and a lot of bland combos, you finally made it to Minos. You finally ate enough. You finally made it to Minos. Now, here comes the stop. Here comes the part where you buckle down and leave your computer. So. Minos is all about surviving. Minos, you need to survive, I believe, an hour, but it feels so weird. Like, it doesn't feel like an hour, it doesn't feel like an hour, it feels like an hour, blah, blah, blah. So, if you're going for Miniscar, you'll see the skill, you'll see the skill in the uh, skill category under Minos. You'll see Miniscar, so once you get enough experience, so you can, uh, once you get enough experience, you will do a mini game, and if you complete the mini game, then you'll be able to evolve into a Miniscar. Or, if you don't want to become a Miniscar and you're going for like a Vasta Lord or a Vasta Car or something along those lines, then you don't do the Miniscar mini game and you just keep on uh, sitting around until you evolve into an Agicar. So, uh, the only way to get uh, experience as a Minos is to just AFK. Just don't die. And also make sure you don't leave the server because obviously that will reset your progress too. So you're going to make sure you pro or you AFK until you evolve. AFK until you evolve into an Agicar. Just, you know, set up an auto clicker. Or keep on checking up and moving your mouse around. Just make sure you don't like disconnect, leave, whatever. So uh, once you're finally finished with that, once you've AFK'd long enough and you finally evolved into the next stage, the Agicar stage. Here is where it really gets wicked. If you thought the hollow grind was bad, oh boy, you haven't seen nothing yet. The Agicar state has got to be my least favorite state in the game. It's just so tedious. You gotta, it's 1,650. 1,650. So, you know, 650 to get to hollow in the minnows. Now, add 1k to that. It gets wicked, so it's gonna it's gonna take a real nice amount of time. So, in the Agicar stage, I can't even say much. You know, you got some skills you can get. You can get like the Sarrow now, and you can get, I think the Sarrow, and you can get the Garganta to be able to teleport to like the uh, the uh, real world and whatnot. But overall, Agicar is just such a L. It's just such a L state to be in. It's so boring. It's just you get the you get the Sony though, so you can move faster. But uh, yeah, so you're just gonna want to buckle down and grind once you hit the Agicar state because it's such a terrible spot to be in. Once you get the Vastal Lord, it gets a little better. But for now, now that you're at Agicar, you just wanna go. You're just gonna gonna go back to the same spot you were at, the same uh, Agicar grinding spot you were at. You're gonna want to take the quest if you're level 30. If not, it is what it is, and you just want to keep on grinding until you can get the Vasta Lord. So, yeah, all, all I can say now is good luck, and um, yeah, I wish you well. <laughs> good freaking luck, man. Good luck. So, after a multitude, a magnitude, a nasty, grotesque, horrendous amount of grinding, you finally made it to the Vast of Lord Sage. I'm proud of you. Everybody else is proud of you. I'll pat you on your back, give you a dollar, tell you good job because it is such a grind. So now that you finally hit the Vast of Lord Sage, it should be a little bit more fun. You can now access like fist talents. Uh, you get the uh, mouse arrow, you get a cool roar thing, you can use air walk now, so it definitely gets a bit better, you can use like passive abilities and whatnot, it definitely is a bit better. So, if, if you if you want to stay as a Vasta Lord, you can, because in some ways it is better than being a Vasta Car. In some ways it probably is better than being a Vasta Car. It does, like, it's Mount, like, it's Sarrow. When you unlock it's Sarrow, once you get enough experience, you eat enough, 
and you can unlock its arrow from the skill section, it does 12 damage a tick. It's ridiculous. It does so much damage. So, yeah, uh, uh, Vastalord is definitely very strong. So, if you want to stay as a Vastalord, then that's fair. Uh, or you can stick it out and grind for the Vastacar state. That's up to you, really. Like, I understand if you don't want to because it's, you've already grinded so much just to get there. So yeah, Vastalord is cool, but uh, if you're going for Vastacar, then you're going to have to put your head down and grind some more and eat enough so you can get 2,250 uh, experience as a Vastalord to do the minigame for a Vastacar. So let's fast forward to the minigame for the Vastacar. So you stuck it out, you put your head down, you threw your fist up to the sky like all might and you said I got the power and you grinded 2250 experience just to get to the Vastacar state. Now you are put to the test, it's all or nothing, the Vastacar minigame. Now the Vastacar minigame is, you'll see it on your screen in a second, basically you just have to hit a certain amount of keys and fill up a bar. Uh, within a certain time it's like 14 seconds or so so yeah it's very scary stuff and you're probably thinking like oh well that's just a mini game i mean you can fail but you know you, you'll just work harder next time no basically if you fail your progression gets reset you go right back down to zero uh experience you're still a vastal lord it's not like you go right back down to a hollow that would be crazy but you're still a Vastalord, Lord, but your like Vastalord Lord progression goes right back down to zilch, zero, nada. So yeah, it's it's very it's very very scary to fail. And I in this clip, I almost failed too. I was like one second away from failing, so I got so lucky, like super lucky. So you're gonna want to be prepared. You're definitely gonna want to you know warm up your fingers. You know, put some co drink some coffee. Uh, get somebody to massage your shoulders something you're gonna want to be on your toes when this joint comes out so yeah you're gonna want to watch out for this yeah that's all man that's all i can say uh the vasticar progression is is cool but you just gotta watch out for it <laughs> Woo, you just gotta watch out for that mini game it, it, it'll kill you if you just like one second off man so uh now that you've hopefully successfully done the Vastacar progression you're finally a Vastacar you're finally at end game content all you have to do now is just level up get to level 100 and unlock your uh your uh resurrection so let's let, let's just get into resurrections man let's get into resurrections here we go now first your resurrection so there are five current resurrections in the game there is Volcan Volcancia, Volcanica, Vol Volcanica, excuse me, Gravitas, Tormenta, Aragon Aragante, and Los Lobos. Now, now Los Lobos and Aragante is only 1% chance. They're both legendary resurrections, only 1% chance, so you're most likely not going to get it. So you're going to most likely get Gravitas, Tormenta, Volcan or Vol Volcanica. Jesus, I can't pronounce that. Now, for how to get it, let's, let's dive into that. Because there's I've seen so many questions, and I don't really get, like... I don't really get how, why it's so difficult, like, for people. Because, like, to me, it just seemed, like, so easy to get. Like, I'm not even trying to flex. It just seems so easy to get. So let's just dive into, like, how to get it, all right? Let's just dive into it. So you're going to want to meditate. So once you get to like the Vastacar state or the Miniscar, the Adjus car, whatever the fuck it's called. Once you get into that state, you're going to want to press K to meditate. Just press K, meditate and do the little mini game that pops up when you press the keys. So you're just going to want to press K and meditate consistently. All you want to do, all you're going to want to do is meditate. Keep on meditating uh, when you get the chance keep on just like fighting and keep on meditating keep on getting like uh, the experience and then after a while after like I don't know I think it was 10 to 15 meditations for me I got my I got the chance to fight your my my come on you can talk better than this I got the chance to fight my uh, resurrection so it'll tell you your resurrection on the left once you finally have enough uh, meditation experience for it so it'll tell you on the left, and then once you fight it and defeat it, then you'll finally be able to, um, you'll finally be able to beat it. You'll finally be able to beat it and unlock it and, uh, be able to use it, basically. So next, let's go over how to actually beat it. 
Now, they recently dropped an update, uh, so I think they gave, like, the bosses cooldowns now. Let me see. Yes, they added a cooldown for NPCs attacks so they can't, like, uh, just, like, perma infinite stun you, so that's good. But boss, boss fights are very difficult, so I'm just gonna run you through, in my opinion, the best way to fight it. The best way to fight it. So obviously, once you become a Vastikar or whatever, you're gonna wanna have to unlock your skills. So let, real quick, let's go over the best PvP and PvE skills, like the best combo extenders and stuff like that. Let's go over that. So first, Multi Barrage. Multi Barrage is easily the best move in the game and nobody can tell me otherwise. It's a combo extender, it does a lot of damage and it has decent amount of range. It's a very good move to have. So. You're going to want to buy Multi Barrage and you get it by going to uh, the store. So you press M, go to skills, and then when it says fist, you go to fist, uh, you go to the fist option, and then you scroll down until you see Multi Barrage and you're going to want to buy it. The next you want is Dual Kick. Dual Kick is good because it's a combo extender. It's a very good combo extender. Use it, it hits twice, and then you can keep on comboing. So you're definitely going to want Dual Kicks. It's great. Next you know this is like it's kind of well you're definitely gonna want finger zero since you're an rn car you're gonna want finger zero it does good damage it's got good range it's got a good like width so you're definitely gonna want finger zero next like next is just like up for grabs you know you don't have to have it but personally i prefer it so i recommend that you get uh what's it called that you get I recommend that you get Almighty Thrust. It's good, you know. It's, it lets you like zone zone your opponent. It lets you get some good damage in. So I recommend you get Almighty Thrust. Uh, another good one is to get like the Roar, the Iron Car Roar, or the Vastalord Lord Roar, or whatever Roar it is that you got. Oh, you're gonna want to get that because it's good for like PVE, starting a combo. And you're gonna want to get, say, Cero Gates. Cero Gates is a good one because it can combo extend if you use it right. If you like, just like start a combo and then just press Cero Gates, it does like 40 damage, which is very good, and it can combo extend. So you're definitely gonna want to use, uh, you're definitely gonna want to use Cero Gates. And the rest are really up to you, but the main key ones you want. The really main key ones you want are multi barrage and multi kick and the, any sort of serial you have. So whether it's mouse serial, finger serial, whatever it is, you're definitely gonna want uh, any sort of serial you can get. So once you have those, then yeah, let's let's get into how to actually do it now. Let's get into how to actually fight your how to actually fight your resurrection now. So I'm just gonna. I'm going to start a recording here. We're going to record like actually how to do it, the best way how to do it. So first things first, you're going to want to give it some space. You're going to want to give it some space because it'll always start off, it'll always start off wanting to evolve. So you're going to want to give it some space, wait for it to evolve. There it is. So wait for it to uh, turn on this joint. And I just realized my things are not set. Hold on, hold on, my things are not set. Hold on. Just, Jesus, give me one second, man, please. Uh, this should be good, I guess. So yeah, my key binds weren't set, but it's too late for that. So, uh, if I didn't show you already, it's my bad, get Flash Escape. Flash Escape is a move you can buy. You need Flash Escape. Every build needs Flash Escape. So as you can see, we're making a combo here. So that's that's just a nice combo you can do for some good damage there. And since I got a good clan, it does a decent amount of damage. Ow, okay. So flash escape is like what you really need to make your build good. Dual kick, Cero Gates. So you have three main combo extenders. Another good one is Riatsu Explosion. I can show you here. Riatsu Explosion. The reactor explosion is a good one. It's got a good chance of combo extending. So yeah, you're definitely gonna want reactor explosion too. That's a good one. But for the most part, the main staples you want are multi barrage, dual kick, and Cero gates. So once you finally beat your resurrection and you finally unlock it, maybe you decide, you know what? I don't want this. I want to go for last Lobos. I want to go for something cooler. I don't. I don't like the. 
I don't like the resurrection I got. So they drop codes sometimes. There's some codes out right now. I showed you some earlier in the beginning of the video. So you they drop codes uh, that sometimes reset your uh resets your what's it called resets your uh resurrection so you're gonna want to watch out for those and it resets your resurrection but it doesn't reset your uh your progression so it won't reset your like your meditation or anything so that's good so you're gonna want to watch out for those and if there's no codes out then there is an npc that lets you re-roll your uh that lets you re-roll your resurrection for 85k and it's right next to the uh, Adachar, whatever it's called, place, the farm place I showed you. So uh, I'll show you it now. His name is Dante, and it's right next to the place you're supposed to go to uh, farm your Adachars or Adachachars, whatever the hell they're called. So here's how you get to the, here's how you get to the spot. Here's how you get to the uh, main spot. So right here, as you can see, near Stark. This is like a good, uh, good place to remember. The Adachar, however the fuck you pronounce this, the, 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 the farming spot right here. The farming spot you went to right here. This is the place, like a good place to remember it by. So right next to it, to the left of it, is the NPC you talk to, to, uh, evolve, or not to evolve, to, uh, change your, there's a hollow just sitting here. I, I don't, I don't know what the hell going on, but, and, Dante is floating up there. I, I don't know, but uh, you talk to this guy. Uh, Jesus, what what the hell is going on with you, man? So you talk to this guy, and you can reroll your ability for 85k. Now, 85k is very expensive, and I can't afford that, but it's there just in case you feel like saving up for 85k and uh, trying to reroll and hopefully get a different uh, resurrection that you want. So that's it for now. Uh, uh, this is part one, of course. Part two, I'm going to like, you know, fully finish it out. I'm going to hopefully answer any like questions I get, any like common questions I get. I'm going to try to like dive into all the like the tips and tricks. For now, this is just like a basic guy. This is just something basic to throw in just to help people like any new players get accustomed to the game. So. I'm going to leave the Trello link in the description because the Trello is very important. Like you need the Trello because it's very good to get information from. It can explain it better than I can. And I'm going to leave the Discord and all that. I'm going to just leave it all in the description. Uh, if you happen to have any questions, like any questions following this video that uh, you feel like they didn't get answered in the video then feel free to leave it in the comments or go to the discord ask me or you can catch me while i'm streaming and ask me in the stream either way i'm happy to answer or i'm happy to find a way to help you and um yeah y'all just stay safe out here uh try to have fun the game is really really hella grindy but it is pretty fun it does have some pretty fun moments so you just gotta you just gotta work past it and you'll you'll probably have a good wholesome old time so as always y'all have a good night slash day slash whatever time it is for you and y'all stay safe out here peace out and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.